Hi everyone, so I am actually closing in on my 56 days um, of on my leave of absence, healing, I don't know, whatever it is that I'm doing. <laughs> um, but um, I think I have like maybe two more videos after this one left, but what I wanted to share today was pretty much the stuff that I was, that I have been doing kind of um, behind the scenes and um, there's a lot of stuff that uh, I tried and I like, but um, it took a while for me to finish. Um, but uh, one of them was um, uh, this online program from this guy named Simon Sinek. And he has this thing about finding your why statement or your purpose um, uh, for doing the things that you're doing. Um, he kind of had a video that went viral a couple months ago where he was answering the millennial question about how millennials are being treated in the workforce and um, he mentioned a lot of things in that video that resonated with me um, with how I was uh, feeling and being treated at my old job um, and uh, so he opened up my eyes into finding, um, trying to find something that was more meaningful emotionally than something that's more um, materialistic or tactical or, um, you know, as business vocabulary would put it, like, you know, reaching the numbers and stuff like that. So, um, so after finding, after watching that video, I actually shared it with a bunch of people at work, tried to get everyone to watch it because he pretty much was saying the things that I was trying to say for a long time. Um, I don't know if it <laughs> did anything to them, but I kept researching him and he had about two TED Talks um, that I watched and I, you know, it spoke to me and I really liked what he was saying. Then I read his book, so this is his book. Here, start with why um, it's very good um, and then I <laughs> subscribe to his podcast which is um, uh, kind of old because he has these two guys who run it but since like 2009 or 2010 but a lot of the stuff that they're talking about pretty much helped me understand the whole thing around this find your why um, so anyways, did a whole bunch of research, did a lot of reading and listening, and then finally I paid the whatever, how many dollars it was, I think it was 130 uh, to take his online course to see what um, what it would do for me to find my why. So um, it was very interesting, I really liked it, um, it really did help me think of things in a different way. Um, uh, I mean, I came in kind of knowing my why already, but that was just pretty much what I thought it was or what I was doing um, with it, um, especially with my work. But what I was trying to do is find something that I can do, not just because of work or for work. I wanted to find something that can give me meaning in um, the things I like to do out of work, with my personal life, with friends, with family and all this stuff. So um, I kind of like had all these things that I wanted to do, but didn't know how or I couldn't really see the connection to it to find you know what the reasons uh, were for me to do it um, so in the process of finding information and doing this class um, and then gave me inspiration to actually start the video series of <laughs> me recording how I'm doing during my 56 days of leave of absence so um, so that was like the one little thing that I liked because I put a purpose around it and it gave me an incentive to continue, though um, it took me a while, but it has three parts that are pretty extensive and it's not just something you can like do and finish in a 24 hour period. It does say it takes about 30 days to complete it um, and um, I'm going into like, you know, 40 or something like that. So. Um, it makes you um, look for the emotional reactions that you've had in the past that, that were good, that were positive or negative. And then it asks you to pick a friend that's close um, that can help you um, 
analyze and filter and find similarities between all these situations. And these situations are examples. He asks you to actually grab stuff from your work experience and your life experience, past and present. So it's very extensive, very, you know, kind of time consuming, but it gives you really, really good thought process of how things made you feel. Um, and then when you look at everything, when you stand back and you have you and your friend are looking at everything, you start to see similarities. So that was a really fun exercise. And I, and I did it with um, uh, my best friend, Claudia. Hey, Claudia. And, um, uh, and then I was on to the step like to finish step two and then on to step three which is the final step and that made me even do more stuff for myself and then bounce it back with other friends of mine so at the end of the day i found my why and um and it's been kind of liberating but kind of strange as well because the way it's worded i think is why i don't like it but it is what it is i'm running with it and i'm trying to see how i can um, plug, make sure that what I do, especially at work, um, always goes back to that. And the thing that he always repeats, this guy Simon, is that the thing that you do the most has to have, has to have an emotional connection to you. Otherwise, people won't be able to connect. Um, so, uh, my why statement is to encourage other written down here so I don't forget. To encourage others so that they discover how brave enough they are to lead. Um, and I've tweaked it <laughs> since uh, the beginning that I finally figured it, figured it out. But essentially what it means is that after I looked at all my experiences, bad and good, growing up um, and, and you know being a professional in the work environment, it was that I had to pretty much catapult myself in a lot of situations that I was put on and there wasn't really a person that can help me uh, lead or direct. Um, um, I mean, there's so many definitions of what a great leader is, but I felt like I didn't have that. I have great friends and great mentors, and I admire them and love them so much, but I didn't have that, like, you know, oh my gosh, this is the guy I really want to follow and, and, um, and really be like, even though, I mean, in the sense of the word, um, not truly be like him. Anyways, what I'm getting at is that it helped me realize that I pretty much had to figure out how to lead my own shit <laughs> with my personal life and then with work where, yeah, they gave me great opportunities and I was able to learn a lot, but I had to drive that thing on my own for many times and I was put in situations where it was secret, sink or swim, so, you know, and swim with the sharks and, um, and I wasn't really born naturally a leader. I never even felt identified as one because, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm second born and I always followed my brother and his friends became my friends. And then um, when we started to drift apart, then I started to learn how to make my own friends. And that was a struggle. Um, you know, I would never really volunteer to be, you know, captain or whatever, whenever that called for it. So I was always really shy and timid, and that's something that I want to help people learn is for them to also realize that they can grow out of that shell and not be, you know, stuck in this bubble. I mean, it's it's not what I want, and if you don't want it, also I want to I want to bring out of you. You know, I want to be an inspiration to people to bring out that that you know that fierce leader spirit that they don't even think or know that they have. So that's why um, another reason why I'm doing these videos and that's why I'm also starting this other project where I feel like I've been neglecting for so much. So finding my why helped me really put emphasis on this project. So that's why I started Chow Panda. And Panda, Chow Panda has been online for years because I just wanted to do something with it. And I never really ha had the motivation or or that push because I didn't have a purpose for it. I just like, you know, I'm, everyone's doing it. And so I'm going to, you know, try to do it too. But, um, so now Child Panda has become this, um, this focus of mine that I'm doing as a side project. And, um, that's where I really want to put my hobby, my, like, <laughs> the thing that scares me the most is, 
you know, wanting to be that illustrator, that animator that I've had a dream to be since I was a kid. And I really want to, you know, aim for that. That's my dream. Why am I not pursuing that? I've been pushing that aside because it wasn't lucrative or because I didn't think I have talent to do it. But, you know, my sister's a great illustrator and she's my inspiration for this. So shout out to you, Julie, love you. And um, so I'm trying to document the whole process of me trying to learn how to draw, trying to learn how to animate and trying to, you know, share that with people. So that's what Child Panda is turning out to be. And I have a long, long list of things that I really want to accomplish with that place. Um, so that's going to be my baby for what I do, you know, outside of work. And then of course, with this, you know, new possibility of me trying to, you know, be a good leader. So with this new job, I really want that to be like, you know, my pathway. My first, you know, foot forward is, is I want to make sure I'm a good leader for other people so I can inspire them to become good leaders. Um, and even though the company's small, but there's so much potential, I want to make sure that my leader <laughs> knows that I also want to be like her and I want to also get people to be motivated and happy and love what they do and I want to give them that emotional connection. So anyway, so it's spreading around and I really enjoy doing this, this um, uh, Find Your Why uh, course. So I'll link everything that I did um, as far as the why course on the description and then also I'll leave a little thing for Chow Panda. Um, I also listened to some other podcasts that actually helped me with, you know, inspiration and there's another podcast that just um, um, has blown me away and I'm, I'll share it too in the link and it's just fun entertainment stuff, not, not, nothing really, but it just was something that wasn't a TV show or book um, that I had to read. So anyways, that's, um, that's kind of the wrap up. So probably two more videos and 56 days are done and then I start my new job. So um, maybe I'll continue this in some form or another of how I'm doing at my work or something else. But anyways, I'll think about it a couple of more days and see what I will come up with. All right, so thanks guys, bye.